Hello, hello! Welcome to another tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to make some messy, messy, wet bleed, flooded look watercolor flowers in Procreate on the iPad Pro. To get started, I am working off of my texture pack. There's a link to download below. And I'm going to be using brushes that you can also download below, the Hard Edge Brown Brush, the Hard Edger 2, and the Spiky Wet Bleed. So to get started, I'm going to select this nice light pink color and the Hard Edge Round Brush. I'm going to swipe up with one finger from the bottom on the iPad, tap the icon that you want to drag over, and put it on the side panel, and then release. And this will allow you to do dual screen. So then, uh, look, flower photos. This one turned out way better than this one. I'm getting there. Okay, so by comparison, after drawing these two, this just looks like a blob of leaves. So to get rid of it, I tap the select tool, select around the flower, and drag it off of the board. Same thing with this little sponge here. Oh. And then it's gone for forever. All right, back to drawing these little, little guys here. Let's see if I can do do more good ones. The thing that I find I struggle with is uh, getting the different perspectives of the flowers. It's something that I, I know is an area I need to work on.
Okay, so once I am satisfied with the handful of flowers that I've drawn, you can close Pinterest, and then I always go into the layer and duplicate it, so that if I really mess this up, I can always go back. So I hide the duplicate copy, and then working on this layer, I'm gonna go into the smudge tool and select the spiky wet bleed brush. Now this is where it gets a little scary. You're gonna go in and start to really bleed out some of the petals and the insides that you drew here. The goal here is to overall keep the shape of the flower, making it look like you basically spilled a lot of water on your page. You can also start to blend in some of the petals. Um, if you're drawing a lotus flower like this, you can mix in to give it that pink tinged white petal look. But we can also go back in and add more pigment later. You wanna, if you used multiple colors, start to bleed those two together. It gives this more of a realistic, natural look. goal here is to work also pretty far outside the shape of the initial flower that you drew. You want the pigment to start to travel and mix with the other flowers. So this is starting to look pretty good. So now I'm going to go in with a nice green color and still use the hard edge brown brush and the paintbrush and draw in some stems. This brush gets really big and it's very pressure sensitive. So it's great for making these big, almost lily pad type leaves. Since I feel good about the amount of leaves, I'll go back in with a spiky wet bleed and start to blend some of these 
Again, maintaining some shape of the stems and not going too far into the flower painting, but starting to blend some of the green and the pink together. I kind of like to have my stems start to bleed into the actual flower area so you get some green here. I find that looks super realistic. Sometimes I'll go in and add a little more pigment to it. There's really no wrong way to do this. And then if you want, you can remove some of the overall pigment uh, by going to the eraser with a spiky wet glue. And I like to turn my opacity way down so I can gradually remove some of this color. I do this on the edges of where I've flooded the color out. As you can see, it's so, it's almost imperceptible. enough to make it look a little more real. So then as a final touch, if you want, you can go back in with the hard edge or two and each color that you painted with and you can start to redraw some hard edge watercolor lines. This can be really good to give your flower petals a little more definition if they lost some of their shape and they don't necessarily look like flowers anymore. You can go back in and just redraw. And it can be loose and it doesn't have to be complete.
And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you try this out, please take me on Instagram and what you make at Wooly Pronto. See you next time.